Hello, hello people, this is Two and a Half Stooges, specifically Michael, with, and there they are probably not really supposed to, well, I wouldn't say that you're not really supposed to go here, it's, um, it's not really in the game, I've seen a few other people doing it in debug mode, it is known as the Gryffindor challenge, the Gryffindor common room challenge, or whatever. I'm not using debug mode, I'll show you how to do that in the end. It involves screwing around with the game's program files, simply switching names, renaming them. You can just, like, replace the name with, um, the math file. You can delete the Richter Semper math file and make the, and rename the Gryffindor challenge file Richter Semper, and all that stuff. I'll show you how at the end. <clears throat> I don't know, debug just seems like a waste of time. The, gr the green writing at the top of the screen and all that. I don't know. So, you can tell I'm also... I also didn't bother to change back the music files. Um... Um... I don't know why. I probably should. The music's kind of better. It's like... I don't know. I just want to see how it works. Lockhart, shut up. I'm gonna just... Alright, so we got that. And... Move it, move it, move it, move it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't care less. You didn't do as well as I did the first time, but then... Who could? Now, how about a turn in the spell practice? I like the way they misspelled the word practice down at the bottom. Pure I-C-T-I-S-E instead of I-C-E. So... Instead of the Richter Semper Challenge, you go to the Gryffindor Challenge. There's no timer at the top of the level. Um, so it's kind of more like a um, Sorcerer's Stone Challenge, for lack of a Stone Challenge in that way. There's just a bunch of challenge stars you collect, but there's a challenge star at the end. Ten, there's nine secrets, I think ten challenge stars. Also, there are a bunch of Spongify tiles and stuff in here. You haven't learned Spongify yet. That's really not a problem. It's, um... Whoa. The levels kind of determine what spells you can cast. It's, I learned that the first time I went through here. It's not like you unlock something every time you complete a level or, I don't know, get a certain checkpoint in the game or whatever. <clears throat> yeah. It's kind of a relief because, um... Yeah... I, this is in place of the Rick December challenge, I don't know anything else, so I would kind of be screwed. So yeah, I've seen a lot of people get here into bug mode. Um, I don't, I didn't look up how to do that. It looks sort of interesting, but I'm probably not going to. I don't need to. You can get to a lot of other map files in the game, including like, um, Diagon Alley and even the place kind of in that, in the middle of the sky where, uh, Flying forward, cutscene took place, as it's called. Yeah, they don't use machinima for those cutscenes in this game. They use um, it's just I don't know. They take the characters and do stuff with them, and I don't know. It's kind of weird. That probably explains all the graphics fail. Remember the graphics fail. So, the gnomes are just annoying, they're not a problem or anything. You pretty much just gotta keep turning and knock them down before they can steal your beans. Um... This is the third time I'm trying to record this one, hopefully nothing will go wrong, like... Um, first time I, around I missed stuff, and second time around, uh... I missed stuff, and third time around, well that's now, hopefully I won't miss stuff. So... There, there are a lot of beans in this game. I don't know how many I had when I started. I'll have to go look that up. Put it in an annotation or something. But there are a lot of beans in this challenge. And... Spongify. I don't know. It sort of amuses me that I'll, every video that I've seen of this say you have to use the bug mode, but you don't. 
It's like somebody else would have found this out before now. So I'm gonna open the bleeping door house. <laughs> this is the one safe book in the level. And here, it looks like the path splits. I thought the path split the first time I did this, but it doesn't. Uh, there's one. That gate is barred. And that one isn't. It kind of looks like you can go. That's a regular pathway up there, but. I messed up the first time I didn't get the town star and stuff inside here. Actually, I only learned about um, two, the two, the two secrets in here when I watched the videos and here. These, things. these are some. Um, you can kind of tell that they're there because there's like the texture is not even with the regular wall texture, and it looks like there's a rectangle on the wall. Mm hmm. I wonder what that is. And there's... That's a few more places in this game. In this challenge, too. I kind of want to say that um, this challenge looks like it wasn't completely finished. In development. But... Kind of because it's like... I don't know. You're supposed to get a... <coughs> do the bug mode and... There's like no timer or anything. And there's a bunch of graphics fail places. Like a bunch of places you'll see the bean sprites where they're not supposed to be. If I repeat myself in this commentary, just ignore it because I've done commentary on this like three times already and I don't know what I've said before and what now. It's all starting to to me, but I want to get this done. So anyway, and beat up by forward there. There's more truckload of beans up here and the challenge star, I think that was five. And mm -hmm. yeah. beans. Let's jump down here. We're down. I think after playing this challenge and the other ones, this is probably my favorite one of the challenges. That's 6 of 10, okay. I don't know, it's just like, it's a lot of stuff in not much space. Like, there's a lot of close packed together secrets and stuff. And especially about, right about here, Gnome! I see a bunch of fire crabs over there. There's not like any gnome. Um, there's not any like firecraft places you're supposed to knock them onto. They're just there, just get in the way. And I will go in there in a minute after I do stuff. The music, by the way, is um, in the game program files, it's called Gamble and Japes. Like the Wizard Joke Shop that's in Diagonality that you can go to, and um, the other console versions of this game. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the same music. I don't really remember, I've played the other console versions of the game at friends' houses, but I don't, it was a while ago, I don't really remember. I'm pretty sure it's the same. I like how more stuff there seems to be in the other console versions of this game than this one. Like, I don't know, they use, uh, 3 gigabyte disks, disks, no, 3 gigabyte disks for those and, like, 600 meg for this. So you do that and this puts off in the wall down there, opens up, and this one, the finish is opening up. Yeah. There and there's actually the um, a save image for this uh, for this level. Like you know when you first go to open up a game file and uh, fire grab when you go to the load game screen and there's a bunch of 
say files and the images of where you are. Yeah, there's a there's um like two hundred by one hundred sixty bitmap in there for this. Some some not a big file like that. Yeah, it's pretty much this area right here. The fire crab, go away. No. And here, I think it's a lot of down stars. Yeah, 10 of 10. And... I'm not in secrets. I've got 9 of 9 secrets, okay? So I guess I can say now that I'm one of the few people that have actually finished game really 100%. Haha. Uh -huh. I like in the Diagon Alley, um, that file there's Lucius Malfoy just standing there. And he doesn't do anything, he's just there. He waits for the, like... He's supposed to come in during the cutscene, you know? And... You know, I'm on the wrong side of this chest right here. He's supposed to come in in the cutscene and give Junior the diary, but there, it is no cutscene, it's just a regular level and... Stuff. Where am I? I think that's it for down here anyway, so... More beans, that's something like... I want to say close to 250 beans I've gotten in this level, probably more. And you just go up here, knock his out by fire crabs. Dip around. This probably all reminds me of the tutorial for the, um, Sorcerer's Sword game. It's, um... You're jumping across the bookshelves getting beans and not running into peas. Anyway! That's it for here. Oh wait, there's one more thing I wanted to show you. Hopefully this will be the last time I have to record this, so I guess if it, um, if you're watching this on YouTube it will be. You got 30 health points when you got the, um, block card thing, correct? Now I've got 87. It, it just gives you random points. Interesting. I guess it wants you to be ahead of you. Sorry about that, Alex. This is how you get there without using debug mode, because it's probably simpler. I don't know. I've never used debug mode, so... You go to the game's program files, and I've got a desktop shortcut that goes there, but if not, you probably don't. And just, my computer, um, hard drive, program files, EA games, Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets, and this is all the maps and stuff, music, support files, health files, system, these are the thumbnails that you get while, like, um, for the save files. Um, somewhere in here, yeah, this is, they have a splash file for the Gryffindor, I think they, they probably meant to use that. Stop screwing around, Michael. So you go to the maps, delete, say, challenge 1 with December or something, and, oop, rename challenge 7 Gryffindor, challenge, uh, challenge 1 with December, and the game can't tell the difference, so, when you boot up the game, it will jump you to the Gryffindor challenge instead of Rick December. It's supposed to be, I've seen other people's videos on YouTube, it's supposed to be on um, Gryffindor common room thing. There's a barred door up where the dormitory is supposed to be, and I, if people would go in there in debug mode, then they can play this. Which I don't. And I'm just gonna cut there because this is like relatively the beginning of the game, and I've gotta go to.